I, I think teaching for me is mostly about learning um, right. as opposed to dispensing what's already in my head. And I, the thing that really comes to mind is very early on in this work, about nine years ago, actually, right at the beginning, what really took me down a really important path was I was teaching a workshop on culture in San Francisco. And we had founders from, many of them were from Asia, but we had a few from Europe as well um, over. It was a crowded room. And at the, as I was sharing, you know, how Google thought about culture um, and how we went about, you know, the different culture defining practices at Google, you know, hand raised at the back of the room and, and they asked, okay, great. This is all really helpful to see how Google thinks about it. But what do you think I should do for my team? Mm -hmm. and, right. and it was a good moment of like, it's so important to remember that things that work in one place may not work or may work or may receive the opposite uh, mm -hmm. effect in another place. And I, I, I think I gave a really dissatisfying answer, but that moment haunted me for a few days <laughs> later. And I realized, you know, we could do so, I, I could do so much better in backing up whatever I say with good evidence. And that's what took us down the path of, you know, we, we soon after, as we were scaling this workshop, we, we built what we called the Effective Founders Project, which is this global research effort that really put the most effective founders under a microscope. And we used the most, you know, the latest kind of people analytics protocols to, to really make sure that as we were offering advice to founders who were not in, you know, a large company like Google, that we were offering sound advice based on, you know, evidence and data. And I think that that has really stayed with me. And I've been a lot, like I have orientated myself quite significantly around the data and evidence. You know, it, it helps that I'm not myself a founder. I think a lot of founders who, especially successful founders, I think it's so much harder for that, for them to give good advice because they're, they're kind of, they're, they're kind of trapped in their own experience in some sense. Like they yeah. are, you know, they know what worked for them and it's very salient. It's very front of mind for them. And so it's very frequent that they pull on that, knowledge and that's sometimes very useful if your context is exactly like their context right and that's yeah. where i think the the value of having evidence um and data i think is a more useful way to go about it because then you're you're qualifying you're qualifying the advice based on the patterns as opposed to one single data data point which is experience in the uh, for many successful founders